Oh yeah, the boys are back in town, fresh off the first bowl win in 57 years in Las Cruces. New Mexico State was back like they never left for its first practice of fall camp in advance of the season opener against Wyoming on August 25th. Doug Martin and his staff have nine starters back on defense, but they'll spend much of August preparing a lot of new guys on offense. That Aggie offense was, of course, very potent a year ago, finishing in the top 10 in the nation in passing office thanks to Tyler Rogers. But the longtime NMSU starter has graduated, leaving a quarterback competition for Martin to sort out this fall. There's two competitors in one corner, the incumbent, redshirt senior Nick Genty, who sat behind Rogers. He's experienced in the system. He started, or excuse me, played in three games a season ago. And then in the other corner is challenger Matt Romero, a junior college transfer who threw for almost 3,000 yards and 26 six touchdowns last season. Martin has said that either guy would help New Mexico State be successful. So gentlemen, make the case for yourselves. I feel, you know, I've been here, you know, I, I helped win, win games here before. Um, I feel like I'm mentally, you know, mentally equipped. Uh, there's a few things during, like with my game, coaches want me to work on. I feel like I worked on that. So I just got to, you know, show it during this fall. I'd have to say coming from a Juco, it gives you a, uh, a, I would say a little bit of an edge because you know what it takes. Uh, Juco is a struggle, so you gotta you gotta grind it out every day, and uh, that's what I'm here ready to do. Grind. All right, now get this. Romero's uncle is Ed Stansbury, of course, an El Paso native who played ball at UCLA, and he's now on NC9 overtime here on KTSM. Martin said that he'll let the competition go until game week, so they're in no rush to name a starter. That's how confident they are that one of these dudes can get it done.